Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to another video and today's video, this is actually supposed to have been for the YouTube Artist Collective prompt of Zodiac and I decided to draw my Zodiac Taurus. I did actually draw Leo as well and I asked over on my Facebook page which one they'd like to see me colour first because I just sketched them both in my sketchbook so this that I'm doing a little colour test on is just a scan and it, I just printed it larger from my sketchbook which I hope you like the video of that that was out on Sunday. If you like those Sketchbook Sunday videos, please let me know because I quite enjoy making them. But anyway, so yeah, you will be seeing a Leo video coming out at some point, but it's kind of going in a backlog of ones I'm putting aside for when the baby comes because then I can still actually get videos out for you guys instead of having to try and rush and sacrifice precious sleep that'll be limited enough as it is. Uh, yeah, um, I wanted to do this piece in my watercolours because I've not actually used them for a while and they just give me such a free feeling because I feel like I'm not as precious with how I paint like, and the control I have over the paints when I'm using them because I know I'm going to neaten it up with pencil crayons and I kind of like the looser look when you're using watercolours anyway. So like the blended, the way that the water blends the colours together and stuff like that, I really like how sometimes it is nice to have a smooth blend but then I kind of like the patchy I'm sure I'm sure you know what I mean but not completely smooth blending I just love how it naturally merges together with the water a lot of the time um, but yeah one thing with this piece that I initially struggled with was the colours because the colours for Taurus are pinks and greens and it's not normally two colours that I put together because the greens I normally just go down the whole nature route which I did with this piece as well but it's not something you normally put with pink unless you're doing like flowers specifically so to try and find a way to incorporate those two colours together without making it too like using obvious things for the colours I mean I know I did an obvious thing with leaves being green but it kind of works and then the pink putting it like on the horns to give it more of a fantasy feeling I mean, it's a girl with horns anyway, so you know, it's going to be a bit of a fantasy thing going there, but either way, it's something a bit different, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with how the piece turned out. I especially really like the hair. The horns, I'd say, are my favourite because I love the detail in them, um, even though it was quite a simple one to do, but I spent a lot of time on the hair, a lot more than I normally do, because I was trying out new techniques of trying to do the chunks and then not over shading the like each individual section or just doing loads of individual strands I was just trying to make it work and curly hair I really wanted to try and do curly hair because this the character is loosely based off of myself and I actually have curly, well it's more wavy curly, not proper curls, but I have messy curly hair. So I think to be able to draw that was something I really wanted to try and do because it's something I normally try to avoid. And yeah, I actually really like how it came out. It's probably next to the horns, one of my favourite parts. But yeah. Um, there's not really much for me to say um, other than, again, if you have any video requests that you'd like to see come up in the next month or so, then please leave a comment down below Like if there's any challenge videos you want to see me do or if you want another Q&A or something maybe, I don't know, then please let me know because, again, like I said, I'm trying to get some videos done in advance ready for when the baby comes so then I can still get videos and content out for you guys. And another thing I have to announce is I'm actually holding a huge sale over on a store MV store, which I will leave the link in the description, where I'm selling loads of originals, like super cheap. And this is actually one of those originals that you can get. Um, it's all the money is it's just going to go to help and put aside towards the baby, because if he's anything like his sister, he's just going to grow out of clothes and everything ridiculously quick. and. We just found ourselves constantly short on money because it just grew so fast. But And it's just nice to have it as a backup. Um, but yeah, 
please don't feel obliged to do that I'm just saying it would be nice if you want to get some cheap original artwork then yeah head on over there and have a look if there's anything that takes your fancy but we're not far from the end of the video now so I hope you enjoyed the piece and the video even if it was a bit rambly and thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye